Hello once again in BC Campus TV and Radio. Uh, let me make it clear that I want to make this uh, session an interactive one today. And uh, I hope that uh, you will have uh, proper interaction with me with regard to the subject we are going to discuss today. What we are actually going to discuss today is the power of manifestation. Power of manifestation. Have you any idea of what the manifestation is? What do we understand by manifestation? Well, actually, it is uh, about acting that something is yours and making it real. Something is yours and making it real. You are announcing to this universe that this is my objective, this is my aim and I'm going to achieve it. This has to be there in everyone's mind and this actually leads to a big impact in the universe itself. When you announce that you wish to achieve this and you throw it in the air, it's somewhat like a farmer sowing a seed in the land, making a hard labor to grow the plant and the fruit is similar to this. When you are announcing in the universe, you are throwing back energy in the universe. You are sowing seed in the universe. That I'm going to achieve this. And the universe is something which helps you in doing it. All that is required on your part that you should be actually putting your hundred percent in achieving it. Universe itself does it. And for this to happen, you should have faith in manifestation. Know this. Mind this, that you should have full faith in manifestation. There is no provision for a negative energy, negative feeling regarding this. If you are positive in your attitude, you are in a positive frame of mind, you are going to achieve it. Universe will help you achieve it. And this actually has been seen. There are a number of personalities who have full faith in manifestation. And they have achieved it through manifestation itself. Talk about this Hollywood actor. Uh, I can recall her name, uh, Oprah Winfrey. She was, in fact, she had given the audition for a famous film to be produced called Blue Purple. After the audition, in fact, she didn't hear from the director, producer for a very long, in fact, for two months. But she had in faith, she had faith in herself. She just kept pronouncing that I'll get it. I have sent it. I have sent the message to the universe. I'm going to get it. After two months, she got a call from the director, Peter Edinburgh, perhaps, that you have been selected for the role. Just come. So this is this is the power of manifestation. Talk about Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, again a Hollywood actor, famous for The Mask. He had at some point of time gone broke had become poor, lost all his bank balance. And then suddenly he realized that he had to do something for it. So he kept on visualizing that directors are coming to him, they are praising his role and all this and they are giving him the check for $10 million. He kept visualizing. And then he wrote himself a check in his own name for $10 million, put it in his pocket, put it in his pocket and kept on trying for the best he could have. And this check was post-dated. Post-dated means he had post-dated it for five years. So he was going to have, he had an aim in his mind that I'll be achieving this in five years. After just before five years in a Thanksgiving ceremony, he got a call, in fact, that you are being awarded this much money, about $10 million for the 
film Dumb and the Dumber perhaps. Lady Gaga, all of you have heard about her, the famous Hollywood actress. She had a big faith in the power of attraction. You know what is power of attraction? Every like thing in this universe attract each other. Well, it's something different from physics. We have never heard this thing in physics. I myself being professor of physics, I thoroughly discard this thing that like things attract each other. But it is there. And it's the philosophy, not physics. When you throw out something in the universe, the like things, they keep collecting, they keep, they are attracted towards it, they keep accumulating and one day you get it back after a large amplification. So that is the result you are getting. That is the reward you are getting of your labor and having your faith in manifestation. A large number of examples are there. Take the example of Manoj Muntashir. You All of you know her. Well, before I take up this the case of Manoj Muntashir, I, I would like to, in fact, uh, elaborate on that uh, uh, power of attraction. In fact, if you look at the macroscopic level, Laws level. This does not happen. All of you might have heard about the Coulombic force of attraction, repulsion, which says that unlike attracts, not like one. But here, like attracts, if you go down to nano scale, if you go down to pico scale, fem to scale, 10 to the power minus 14, minus 15, what do you have in the store? What do you have there? At the nuclear level, we have proteins in the nucleus. And you know, how do the nucleins within the nucleus stay together? How do the proteins within the nucleus stay together? All of them are like ones. All of them are like ones. Proteins have a very strong binding force among themselves. And this force is different from the electrostatic force. It's a nuclear force. Nuclear force is much stronger than the electrostatic force. And it acts at that level pico level and smaller than that. So if you throw out something, if you throw out a pico, pico particle in the space, your energy in the form of the energy, that energy could be in the form of photons, you know, if you throw out in the space, yes, it is attracted by similar particles and it accumulates and finally bounces back to you. You get the reward. All that is required is manifestation the belief, strong belief in manifestation. Yes, this is my aim and I'm going to achieve it. Well, <coughs> yes, you can come back to the. In fact, there are a number of other personalities who have a strong belief in manifestation. Talk about Winston Churchill. Then Einstein himself. Einstein believed in manifestation. In fact, all of us should believe in manifestation. Manifestation. You should have, you can in fact think of what you wish to be. Just dream about it. Visualize yourself that you are this. If you wish to be a singer, just say, you start singing. Yes, okay, it's okay. You do labor at your level, but then you visualize. So far as the dreaming is concerned, there's no bound to it. You can dream yourself to be on a big stage singing a song. You are being applauded by thousands of people. Dream big. What is bad in it? Dreaming big makes you big. Know this. Unless you dream big, you cannot be, you cannot attain it. And a lot of things, lot of things <coughs> can be discussed. Well, the thing is that, yes, we're talking about this fellow, Manoj Muntashir. All of you know, what is he famous for? Poetry. Yes? Poetry. Poetry. Yes. Singing. In fact, in fact, the song he he had in fact he belonged to a very uh, medium 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 class family from a village in UP, and uh, he had a lot of dreams in his eyes. He couldn't hold himself there at the village level. He just ran away from there virtually, went to Mumbai. He had to struggle very hard to sleep on the footpath. Had in fact he himself describes. For weeks he didn't get to eat what is rice and dal, but then he never gave up, never gave up. And uh, after a few years of struggle, he got himself something which could establish him there. He started writing the 
dialogues of different serials and all those things by which you could earn a substantial amount of money and later on <coughs> again he gave up that no this is not my <coughs> dream I had come here to write the song for the films well it was still uncertain that if I give up this I'm in a better state now whether I'll be <coughs> reaching that height or not but then he just gave up all these things took the risk and then started started writing songs and the one famous one you know which one is that the most famous song yes can anyone of you sing that one teri mitti mein mil jawa teri mitti mein mil jawa gul ban ke main khil jawa itni hai itni si hai dil ki arju is it and it it made him famous all over the world patriotic song this is <coughs> you could hear it it could be at the tip of all the small boys also they keep singing that just how happy that man would be the power of manifestation so many things we discuss and i would suggest that all of you meditate meditation is a very good tool for manifestation Medica med meditation gives you the power of mind it builds up your mind it makes strong enough for the manifestation to come true you know you can you can recall if you have studied the epic in <coughs> epic of hindu <coughs> yeah. the Mah mahabharat ramayan you might be knowing that the those uh, saints rishi muni they used to do salvation for 50000 years 50000 saalon tak tapasya ki uske baad ye mila ye prakash bhagwan prakat hue now could you believe if a person if a human being the span, life span of a human being is 100 years how could one do salvation for 50000 years can you believe can it happen yes it can yes it can again the science comes to your rescue you can in fact correlated with the theory of relativity given by einstein which says that if you if any object moves with a speed comparable to the speed of light the frame of time becomes different for him becomes much longer standard of time becomes much longer for him if something moves with a speed equal to the speed of light the time stops for him and if someone moves with a speed something moves with a speed more than the speed of light instead of moving to the future he starts moving to the past he can go back to the past see someone who is not alive today was alive some years ago you can meet that for, that fellow <clears throat> so this is what the ancient rishi muni used to do they used to do you used to go in salvation deep salvation used to run their mind with a speed equal to the speed of light for and at that speed the time stopped for them they could do they could live for as long as they wish did salvation for 50000 years 70000 years and attained what they wish to be so med meditation is something which helps in realizing your manifestations now what you should do if you wish to manifest yourself all that is required number 1 you set an aim for yourself set a goal for yourself announce to this universe that yes you are going to have this 
Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, you might have <coughs> the idea of this fellow. Who was he? The greatest boxer this world has ever produced. What he used to do? He used to, in fact, announce that I am the winner. I am going to win. Beforehand, he used to, before any bout, he used to announce, I am the winner, I am going to win. And he used to defeat his opponent psychologically much before he was in the ring. By his sheer statement, this kind of statements he used, and uh, opponents, make, pulling down the moral of the opponent, he could, would, he could win any bout. Fact remained unconquered. In fact, only one or two bouts he, he had lost in his life. Otherwise, he won always. There are a number of examples. So, what you wish to do, you wish to, in fact, set an aim for yourself. Just set an aim. Throw out any negative effect, any negative feeling regarding that out of the window. Not even 1% of that should remain there. Talk to the... <coughs> take the decision in this regard. Throw it in the universe. Sow the seed in the universe. And forget about it. Forget about the result. You just sow the seed. Energy that you throw back to the throw to the universe is thrown back to you. After a bit of amplification, a large bit of amplification, it is thrown back to you. So you can recall. The verse from Gita, Karman ne vadika rastu maafaleshu kadachan. Throw it in the universe. Let it go in the universe. Do your job. Forget about the result. Universe will take care of it. Be thankful to the God. Be a strong believer of God that he will help me in achieving my aim and all you need to do is to be thankful to the God keep patience it may take some time it may take some time may take longer but you don't know that the universe has something more something better in store for you you are achieving you are striving for this but the universe may give you something more so for that you have to be patient and uh, yes once you achieve it you are on your own so many of them, I gave you the example, so many of them have achieved it. All of them were common man. If they can, why can't you? So, three cheers for this. All of you should have in your mind that manifestation should always be there. And whatever aim you wish to have, you are having, you will achieve it. Thank you. Thank you. Yad na jai. 
बीते दिनों की जाके न आए जो दिन दिल क्यों बुलाए उन्हें दिल क्यों बुलाए याद न जाए बीते दिनों की जाके न आए जो दिन दिल क्यों बुलाए उन्हें दिल क्यों बुलाए दिल जो पखेरू होते पिंजरे में मैं रख लेता दिल जो पखेरू होते पिंजरे में मैं रख लेता पालता उनको जतन से पालता उनको जतन से मोती के दाने देता सीने से रहता लगाए याद न जाए बीते दिनों की जाके न आए जो दिन दिल क्यों बुलाए उन्हें दिल क्यों बुलाए तस्वीर उनकी छुपा के रख दो जहाँ जी चाहे तस्वीर उनकी छुपा के रख दो जहाँ जी चाहे मन में बसी ये मूरत मन में बसी ये मूरत लेकिन मिट्टी न मिठाए कहने को है वो पराए याद न जाए बीते दिनों की जाके न आए जो दिन दिल क्यों बुलाए उन्हें दिल क्यों बुलाए याद न जाए